What is up? Welcome back to the Lightspeed Social Agency YouTube channel. Wanted to talk to you today about what I think is the absolute secret sauce for small route-based home service businesses, lawn care and landscaping companies for Facebook ads. So this is something that we use with every single one of our clients. This is going hand in hand with the, uh, the strategy that I've talked about before with the, the hyper-local neighborhood by neighborhood targeting. You can watch that video here. Um, this is sort of the second, second stage there, some secret sauce that we mix in there. The first thing that you have to understand about how this works is that traditionally in marketing, if you've read you know, your Seth Godin, you've read some of your more technical marketing books, you're gonna run into the idea of split testing or A-B testing. And I have even uh, in the past like recommended this for uh, people learning to market their lawn care and landscaping business. But what I want to tell you is that in general, you will not be getting enough touches on any piece of content you're using to advertise a local service business to generate statistically relevant results. And what that means is that if you don't have 20,000 plus impressions of your test, you're not really getting any sort of data from that that's actionable. If 100 people see it, you're gonna have things not getting filtered out like that You know, Bill ate something that upset his tummy at lunch and so he wasn't in the right place to see your ad and you don't have enough people to kind of filter out those sort of random uh, circumstances that are uh, influencing how people receive your ad. So your sort of traditional A-B testing model that even like Facebook will help you implement is less useful, especially when we get to your retargeting campaigns where audiences are even smaller. But if you're using our neighborhood by neighborhood, you know, subdivision targeting, you might have audiences as small as three or 400 people that are seeing this ad. We need a way to make you feel bigger than you are, kind of project a, uh, a more unified, like big brand presence into your market. And then we also need something that's gonna keep it fresh. So we're kind of, we're hitting all of these things here with what Facebook allows us to do instead of split testing, it's called dynamic creative. And if you've talked to me on the phone, you know that this is a part of every single person that gets onboarded into Lightspeed Social Agency. We talk about dynamic creative for their ads because it is so powerful for businesses that are targeting much smaller audiences. So what dynamic creative in Facebook ads does is it allows you to plug in five different options, five, <laughs> for your body copy. So the thing that is like the post of the Facebook post. When you write a status update and it shows up in your newsfeed, this is the text, that body copy text. You get five options for that. For the creative, you get from five to 10 options. So that's the image or video associated with the ad. So we get five to 10 options in there. And then the headline, which is what only shows up on ads or links, if you're sharing a link on Facebook, this is what shows up just below that creative image. You get five options there. And then the CTA button, this is your learn more, download now, request a quote, those kind of buttons. You get up to five options there. In my experience, Usually it's hard to sneak in more than two or three. We don't really like the learn more button because it's not, uh, just not very enticing. There's nothing part of like learning. Uh, you're here because you wanna learn and good on you. But most people in a you know, kind of colder marketplace like Facebook is, aren't really interested in learning. They're interested in something a little more active. So we like to have something on there that, that works with the call to action that we have built into our ad have that CTA button make sense. So usually two to three options there are what we're actually gonna use, but we can use up to five if they make sense. So what Facebook does from there is it uses all of the creepy things that it knows about you to assemble an ad from all of those various pieces to make an ad that it believes the individual user that's seeing it is more likely to engage with. So that's really helpful because we're using all of these pieces that we know are, are well-crafted. Facebook's assembling the ones together that it thinks will be most engaging for the individual who's being served that ad that's in your audience. And then, because our whole strategy is about getting that audience really small so that people see it over and over and over again, we want that ad to be a little different. 
each time they see it. Facebook's gonna try something else to try to get them to pay attention, to get them to click, to take the, the next small piece of action that we want them to take. And the power there is that it keeps the ad fresh. They're not seeing the exact same photo of the exact same lawn every time your ad's shown to them. The text will be a little bit different. The headline that they see will be a little bit different. And that means that there, I have had people tell me uh, when they've seen, when we've run ads for Lightspeed that are run this way, that they were like, man, it seemed like you had so many different ads that were everywhere. And so you're getting that benefit of it feels really big for less work on, on everybody's part. So we're able to project this really big brand presence with less work on the back end, which means less, less of your time spent doing all of this. You get to make all of these pieces of creative once, get them out there, see um, what, what sticks. Now, the thing I will tell you is if you are kind of one of those people who loves getting a ton of data, you're losing a lot of that like split testing design that's built into Facebook ads because Facebook's not going to tell you which piece of body copy worked, which photo worked. So you have to work from things that you know are good, that you know are quality, and then trust the process from there. So dynamic creative is something we use with all of our clients because we can't, the audiences aren't big enough because of how intricate the strategy is, how dialed in it is. It's hard to demonstrate like actual statistical data that is relevant for like split testing ads. So we use this dynamic creative in lieu of that to generate more results to make you seem bigger, to keep your ads fresh as we're getting them in front of the same eyeballs again and again. So absolutely, you should be using this in your campaigns. Set it up, enjoy it. Say hi to Rusty, who you can only see his ear there, uh, the official mascot of Lightspeed Social Agency. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. We try to put out a video every single Friday. Look forward to seeing you in the comments if you have any questions about Dynamic Creative or the marketing process for your lawn care and landscaping business. I am Cody Owen, I'll see you later.